they're rodents known for keeping busy, but a large rise in the beaver population in Belarus has been blamed for a number of attacks on humans. In March, one man, a fisherman, was apparently attempting to catch a beaver to have his photograph taken with it when it bit him savagely. The man died from his injuries. The character of the wound was totally shocking for us medical professionals. We had never run into anything like this before, as far as I can remember. What we saw was that his hip had been afflicted by the beaver bite, a series of bites. Because the beaver is a rodent, he doesn't just strike once, he strikes multiple times, at least two times with his teeth. And the teeth of a beaver can be as long as seven or eight centimetres, approximately three inches. It can bite anything it wants and how it wants. The killer beaver escaped after the attack and has not been caught, but there have been other reports of aggressive behaviour from the animals. This amateur footage is said to show one beaver stalking the emergency vehicle sent to move it on. Fire crews eventually resorted to hosing it away. One woman filmed this beaver outside a community centre. We accompanied the beaver out to where there was a ditch. The emergency services officials moved him away from the ditch. Once hunted almost to the point of extinction in Europe, beavers had made a comeback as new populations were introduced. We're here in the midst of a beaver colony. In Belarus, the beaver population has currently reached more than 80,000, and they've started to inflict damage on both forestry and agriculture. Wildlife experts say that the animals can become disorientated in daylight and may attack out of fear. Officials in Belarus say such attacks are rare, but that it is becoming an increasing problem. Tim Hodges, BBC News.